So hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins and as this is saying after you have survived your joining you are going to be heading to the Tower of Ishal and lighting the beacon while Duncan and the other Grey Wardens are going to be meeting with the Dark Spoon. So that's where we're gonna be heading and uh, seeing how this will be proceeding. So, let's go Alistair. No time like right about now heading there, <laughs> so to speak. Sure, maybe I should have actually bought myself a helmet, but maybe I actually have some. Mm. Then we see how things start in the battle. The map are hounds too. The plan will work, Your Majesty. Of course it will. The blight ends here. Just a few of them, though. Scratch for the rail then while we're on top of the bridge. Let's cross the bridge and get to the tower of Ishal. Yeah, yeah, Alistair. I agree with you. We gotta be crossing into there. Let's just go while the archers are shooting. I do remember that there was some. Um, Closer encounters here, I could say. After all, it might have been over here around. Yeah, well, at least there. Yep, and here we actually got hit a bit. <laughs> got launched back as well because of that. We should have never have come. But yep, you can see how they are battling over there. But yes, we need to be going and getting into the Tower of Vishal. That is in this direction. Me, they're everywhere. You, you're Grey Wardens, aren't you? The tower, it's been taken. What are you talking about, man? Taken how? The Darkspawn came up through the lower chambers. They're everywhere. Most of our men are dead. Then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves. So it clearly seems. I guess I probably should look what their tactics say, approximately at the very least. Uh, okay, self any activate rapid shot. So he would be more of an archer, pinning shot. 
using a melee attack. Target condition then could be saying something else. So he can also do... Okay, there's a taunt specifically. If we would want to be using that. I didn't mean to you, for you to actually start to be trying to use it. Then there's a crippling shot, a shattering shot. Precise striking is a little bit more related to the actually not shooting. But I guess we can let him do the shooting considering he is an archer and all that. So yeah, specifically rapid shots you can activate whenever and do then the pinning shot. Then what did this exactly do? The shattering shot is the archer fires a shot designed to open up a weak spot in target's armor. The shot deals normal damage if it hits and imposes an armor penalty to the target. Master Archer increases the target's armor penalty. Or crippling shot. A carefully aimed shot hampers the target's ability to fight by reducing attack and defense if it hits. Although the shot inflicted only normal damage, the Master Archer talent adds an attack bonus while firing the crippling shot. Mm, maybe we should. Maybe I will try to do this myself and just say that he will do the shattering shot uh, to an enemy. Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to think. Has armor type because it uh, reduced the armor, right? Target's armor, yeah. So sure. Let's try to do something like that. So enemy uh, has armor type, has high armor rating, has high or medium armor rating, and then use the ability shattering shot. Sure. You do that, and then if he has to be in the close combat, we look into that and have a look into that. Also, we could go and have a look into actually... Also... Just, like, don't do that ability that I accidentally pressed. Good. I didn't mean you to be starting to do it, but you basically already did, which is kind of annoying, but can't be held. Let's take the lesser health bonuses also over there and the health bonuses if we need to be using them. Also for the circle of magi, we should be putting this in here. As sons, you do have the herbalism, so I guess you could be making us a shame that I didn't buy any flasks, but sure, create one at least help out less more is certainly not going to be a bad idea. Uh, I did try to pay put in this for you here too. For some reason, I'm just failing in it. And then let's have a look into your tactics. Sure, enemy nearest visible arcane bolt is fine. Yeah, sure. Enemy target using melee attack weakness. I guess that's good too. Trains target of energy, inflicting penalties to attack and defense as well as reducing its movement speed unless it passes a physical resistance check. This flame blast was one of those skills that we specifically ourselves should be using. Because we can't trust that uh, this guy could be using them. Flaming weapons is also Possibly something that we can decide when to use it. And uh, then have a look how exactly this worked. Because this will just uh, give us the positive bonus of having actually flaming new weapons. Which is nice. Then this Arcan Shield, the caster generates protective seat that helps divert incoming attacks, gaining a bonus to defense while this mode is active. Maybe if you are under attack... Been attacked by any sort of an attack would be my opinion. Being attacked by melee or ranged weapon, sure. You use an ability of uh, hmm. activate mode, Arcan Shield, sure. If you are being attacked, you can be putting that on, sure. And then the lightning bolt is just to cast a fire's bolt of lightning at the target, dealing electricity damage, friendly fire possible. So also something that I don't think I should be putting in here, because that can be extremely dangerous <laughs> if we go and say that. Yeah, just uh, use this. So sure. Uh, let's just have this to in here. Probably we will just use this quite a bit anyways. 
So I think that should be pretty okay. Tinkerer to apparently. Uh, so let's see. I wanted to, with you at least, then activate this. Because why not? And then you can already just go into stealth. And uh, basically, we're ready to be starting to head in, I'd say. Okay, let's just go. Sure, I might be trying to do it a little bit differently in the end. As in, going first myself more to investigate. But I think this is pretty okay. Besides, there's these guys that actually I should try to be keeping alive if in any way possible. You guys, really, why do you stop so completely to... <sighs> Just come into there. And with you, I still want to be actually continuing over into this direction if in any way you might. Please do so. Okay. Just attack. Shield bash. Just uh, start shooting. Also start shooting. But I guess I should be taking you a little bit backwards now then. In all reality. Hmm. I guess I shouldn't go too much into there to be honest right now considering... The situation is a little bit worse in that sense. Just change into the melee actually right now, considering you are in the middle in there. Mm, maybe you should be starting to just activate Threaten as well. And then you just do the precise striking while you're actually in the close combat. Should really get rid of this genlux over here too, for sure. Uh, as such, so, if I would just be heading into this way myself, like I'm thinking that I could have uh, used the flame burst here well enough, but as such, so, I guess I could uh, just come into here and try to do the lightning over into the genlux, considering he's far enough, so it shouldn't be in any way actually doing too too badly to me or too bad damage you use that health both less at least That's okay and now you can definitely then change back into your actually bow you can deactivate that take the rapid shot and just start shooting you also just come a little bit closer just don't run into there. Uh, it's gonna be a shame when we can't actually... Maybe you should just go into there and just... Shield past that dude. And... Uh, you do a grappling shot to that guy, sure. I'm just kind of thinking that... Mm, this is a little bit risky though, going all the way over here, but... Guess I will right now do that. Just dirty fight first and start doing damage. You guys just kill that guy ASAP. And then the dual sweep too. Just try to look into their damage, but yeah, they should be able to kill that guy quite quickly enough, so that should be okay. Uh, it's okay. It's not in any way perfect, but at least it's decent enough. He's actually being pinned, I think, so that's actually pretty nice. This guy's almost dead. We even gained another level up, I think, so that's pretty nice. Okay, good. And then just go and kill this guy. That guy did start to be running all the way over there, but it's he's alone there, so <laughs> that's totally fine, I'd say. Okay, nice. We're out of combat. We can save and all that. Wasn't in any way perfect, but I... As such, as we did go through that battle relatively quickly. Let's just loot these guys in the meantime and then go through some of these crates and the like. And then this one. Uh, and what I was thinking that we probably got the items that uh, our friends previously had. So yeah, we have a studded leather helm here. So you can definitely go on ahead and equip that. Plus, I could take the Warden's Oath, considering why not. 
Anyways, that's not nearly as good, I'd say. So sure, equip that, at least rather then. And as I guess we could even just ask the Circle Magi to take on and use some of these for a moment. Because I think that he automatically even gives them back to us or we're save saving before we're gonna be losing him or anything of a like. Chasing robes would be giving a little bit more defense, but you can just be putting the Enchanter's cap on. It kind of looks always funny, that Enchanter's cap, but it's gonna give you quite a nice enough of a bonuses. Spell power and spirit damage. I guess you can use the one that you already are using. I think that should be totally A-OK. -okay. Let's see, so there's also lots more loot over there, so I do think that we should be going and getting them before moving on. All the crates and all the loot need to be going and taken from here. And then before we really go and continue onwards, I should also go and uh, go back to stealth. I don't remember if any of this would actually be better armor for Alistair. I guess we could have a quick look what kind of armor he, he actually was uh, having right now. Uh, yeah, he has better than this. That's good. And yeah, we gained a level up again. Um, let's see, what do we want more? I think I'm gonna increase this to 26 this time around, so... Archer and dual weapons, fighting styles demand high dexterity to master, making this attribute a favorite for rogues. So we got a little bit higher in that. And then what? I don't want to take the archer, so it's basically either dual striking or just going into the rogue skills more, which is possible, both of them. Oh, of course, I could basically also save the point, but I think it's more logical to be using it. Attacks cause more damage, but the character cannot inflict regular critical hits or backstabs. I don't kind of like it that much because we can't do backstabs, but of course it's good for the situations when we cannot be doing backstabs. When we cannot actually be behind an enemy. But I think I'll take one of these. Uh, below the belt, the rogue delivers a shift and unsportsmanship man-like kick to the target. Dealing normal combat damage as well as imposing penalties to defense and movement speed unless the target passes a physical resistance check. It's nice. And then this is the quick step in rogue can more easily outmaneuver opponents, granting a wider flanking angle that makes backstep easier to achieve. Yeah, I think this is definitely the one that we should be taking. Combat movement, passive ability anyway, so yeah, let's take that. More easily, getting the backstabs done, totally worth it, I'd say. Uh, there was no way to go through there, which is fine. Let's head into here then. Back into this main road. And just do the other little quick save, or second one. Loot these bodies before heading forward. Another healing potion is lovely, specifically when we used one too. Very usefully. Previously we did. Okay. Was there something actually up here? I don't remember if there was anything special. Well, there's a cadet guy. I was happy when I, back in the day, was actually able to save some of these guys, but now at least it definitely didn't happen. Which is kind of unfortunate. Well, it's wanting to kind of save everyone, if possible. Let's just... Yeah, there's actually someone already in the battle. Let's just all go into there and try to actually save some of these, if possible. But yeah, they all already died, so that is quite unfortunate, but can't really be helped. Just do that shot there quickly. And uh, then you, on the other hand, I will try to maneuver also to actually maybe use the flame burst. Uh, just use that immediately there. We're gonna try to be going behind with you, and then I'm gonna try to get into a situation where I can I use your ability. Pretty nicely over here. Just move a little bit, move a little bit. 
Yeah, that should be okay. I'm getting most of them. And to be honest, you gotta again then <laughs> go to actually this mode, unfortunately. At least most of them are burning. Not all of them, but most. Unfortunately, they do like to actually try to go and attack you now, so just back away a little bit. Maybe try to do a lightning now, because you're pretty far from all the allies anyways. You can go and actually start using your bow again, I'd say. You're okay. Just getting a little bit of a, a ganked in there, but okay nonetheless. I would prefer that you wouldn't die. Barely, not dying, but almost. <laughs> well, at least not quite dying, I guess I could say. But yeah, I did like it when I was uh, able to save those guys here, but can't be helped. Didn't happen this time around. Let's just do another little quick save before continuing. I think the enemies are over there. Yes. I would really like it if I could actually get into a combat, like out of the combat though, specifically when these guys are also, I'm not exactly even sure why the one guy followed at me, but others not. So, any chance of me being out of combat? Maybe. Like truly, just all come here. <laughs> so silly. It's very unpreferable that he's already in so low health, though. Which I certainly do not like, and I do not like that I am um, spotted. So, that's also very much not what I would like to have happened. I'm just making sure that there was nothing in here, but I wasn't thinking that there was. Well, I guess we just gotta go into there now, because we already got into this situation. Just basim, basim. And then, come and do that. Yeah, one of these guys is coming here, which is quite of a annoyance. If you are able to shoot from there, you can, but otherwise, yeah, I'd like you to actually be heading up here. Sure. Uh, do weakness to this guy, if you could. I would prefer that. And dude, like, truly, don't be right there. <laughs> That's a really bad idea. You can start to fight against that guy, I'd say. Uh, get Tread... Well, you do have already the Treaden, so please try to get him off from our mage. Would be quite preferable, because he's basically otherwise dead. Try to start running, but I kind of ha don't have a high hope of you actually staying alive now, because you already were wounded beforehand, which is kind of really annoying. <laughs> All right. Because you just had to be already wounded. Also do a shield pass if you can. Unless the chain lock is dead. Then we need to get rid of this Herlock Alpha. I would have preferred you wouldn't have used that health bottle just now considering you didn't need to. But can't be held. What wound do you have? Penalty to Conning uh, to remove this Injurious. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's too big of an issue that you have a penalty to conning, so I'll leave that be. But yeah, you wouldn't have needed to go down. Basically, partially it was just because we were already wounded, which is kind of annoying, as said, but not much that can be done. But yeah, so there's a lot of dark spawns in this place. Not exactly as safe and simple mission as it was supposed to be originally. Also a little dead root over here that we can go and pick up All right. before actually entering the Tower of Ishal. And uh, here we go then. We made it all the way to the Tower of Ishal. Let's go in. To be continued with Kiderusha next time in Dragon Age.